Hello everyone, in this video I am going to do the PayPal client side integration with smart payment button which is the latest way of integrating the PayPal payment gateway. So I was also facing a lot of problems so I have made it more and more simpler for you. So firstly you have to go to developer.paypal.com and over here you have to log into dashboard so with your original account you have to put the email id and then password and then login once you log in then you have to go to accounts sandbox accounts uh, as you know that uh, we create sandbox accounts for testing purpose So by default, uh, PayPal gives us two accounts. We, one would be business account and another would be personal account. But right now we are going to create our own accounts. So you have to click on create account. So I will be creating one personal account and one business account. So let's uh, firstly create a personal account. And you have to keep the country United States of America for the testing purpose. The sandbox account, account was successfully created. Now you have to create another one. And that would be business account. And again, you have to click on create. So we have two more accounts. One would be business and one would be personal account. And we have created just now. So now you have to create, you have to go to the dashboard. Uh, in underneath the dashboard, you will uh, see my apps and credentials. Click over there. And here you will be uh, getting REST API apps. So by default, there would be an app, but we are going to create another one. So here you can give the name of your app, test app, I have given it. And you have to choose a business account here. Make sure the account must be a business account. And right now we have created the test account which is, which is this, right? And just click on create app. Now we end up with these credentials of our test app and this is sandbox account and this is our client id so now you have to go to the checkout pages again developer.paypal.com and here would be demo forward slash checkout all right once you will click over there then you will be redirected to the demos which are provided by the PayPal itself. So here are client integration, server integration, and here are buttons as well. But right now I am going to make it more and more simpler for you. So here I am going to click on horizontal, only single button. So here is the code. What you have to do is for the testing purpose, you can test over here as well, because uh, once there would be some uh, something went wrong, then you will be getting instantly an error, right? So you have to put your client ID from here. Just copy this and paste it over here. Client ID equal to SB. So where there is SB, you have to replace it with your client ID. All right. So now you have to click on pay, pay PayPal. And here you have to uh, use your personal account. Personal means buyer account. So right now I am going to check my personal account details. So here are all those accounts. And here is new personal accounts account which I have created just now. You have to click on view edit account. And, and once you click over there, you will be getting email ID, 
that we have to put over here and then again you will have a system generated password you have to copy this and just paste it over here and now click on login I'm going to save this finally we end up with a, a screen where there is the detail that 0.01 US dollar and here are uh, by default payment balance and you are going to click on pay now so finally our payment has been done all right but how we can verify that the payment has been done from our account so let me open up new incognito window and here i am going to open the sandbox account sandbox.paypal.com and here you are going to log in and you have to enter your uh, email address which is over here for example let me check my business account that how many how much amount that has been added into my account I have to use the specific password as well so here is the password so finally we end up with our business account which is over here and just we have done a payment which is over here all right so this was the payment that we have done right now all right so you can click over it and just review the details and these are certain details payment status complete and all the transaction id and added amount and uh, uh, confirmed and stuff like that all right so now let me open up my personal account means buyer account because i have paid from that so there is another personal account you know that i have created one so i have to copy this email address and just paste it over here and i have already saved the password so now we end up with the dashboard so here you can see that there is 0.01 dollar reduced deduced from my uh, payer account all right from my account personal account so you can see that where i have sent that that amount so here is the history so you can see that see all the details over here which are pretty easier to identify that where uh, our amount has been sent so here is the transaction id that you can verify all right so let me show you one simple thing so here we have added a button so how uh, we can make it more and more interactive so let me tell you one thing so from client side you can copy this specific code from here and I am going to add by add here by uh, putting a comma and then I have added the code so now again I have to add the client ID again because that has been removed so I have to go to my app and accounts my apps and credentials and here I have that specific test app so once you will click over there you will be getting your client id and again i am going to copy from here and just put in front of this replace sb to specific amount uh, to specific uh, client id so here i am going to uh, add ten dollars means I am going to edit the specific 
value so again I am going to click on table so now you can see that see that here is ten dollars so now you can click on pay now and finally we got a message that transaction completed by John all right you can click on ok and now I am going to review the details from my sandbox account so here again I am going to click on sandbox.paypal.com and again I am going to open up my business account first so let me copy the credentials from here so here is my business account I am going to copy the email ID and just paste it over here click on next and just copy your password and put it over here and then, then log in so now there is another transaction which is uh, payment from John Due and here is ten dollars and you can also see that there is uh, the, the amount is added into your original amount all right so you can also see the history from here so here is the history that uh, the ten dollars has been added into your account all right so this is uh, the business account all right so let me log out this and I'm going to log into my personal account from where the amount has been sent so here is my personal account this one is my personal account ID and I am going to put over here and I have already saved the password and just click on login now you can see that the ten dollars has been reduced from my account and you know the history is over here recent activity uh, so these are the ten dollars which I have sent just now to my business account so here is all the information which you can see and identify that where I have sent so here is the transaction ID using which you can verify your amount and all the information has been added into your uh, dashboard as well all right so here is the summary which is just going to show you that the PayPal balance is this that much and I think that whatever I uh, tried to make you understand that was pretty easier and you can also integrate by your own rather than giving this specific task to somebody else and if you are facing any problem then I am here to help you out you can uh, ask me the questions in the comment section I will be helping you and in the next video i will try to uh, make a video on uh, server side integration as well so if you are shifting from uh, this test account to your uh, live account then you only you have to do is you have to click on my apps and credentials and there you will be getting sandbox and here is live so once you will click on live then again you have to create an app and the same thing will, would be happening over here and you also have to uh, copy the uh, specific client ID and then utilize that specific uh, that specific client ID to your uh, to the same code which I have done yes uh, right now and uh, one more thing that I like to add here is might be you have seen a secret ID here secret so actually uh, if you will click over here then there would be a secret ID and actually we are going to use this specific secret ID in the server side integration so if you are interested to do the server side integration so at that point uh, of time you have to use secret ID as well so in the next video I will do the same thing which I am trying to 
I show you right now. If you have to put this button into your website, though, so you can just copy this specific code from here. And I have a folder here, payments, and here I'm going to paste this. So let's save it. And I'm going to run this specific code from here. So here is localhost, gateways. PayPal smart so here we go so in this way you can add this specific button into your website as well so once you will click this then this will be proceeded towards the payment thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.